Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Jules Mancillon. I wanted to wish you a really good day and a happy Valentine's Day, for it is a celebration of love. Love should be celebrated every day. But uh, today is, uh, is very... Uh, we have to be prepared for a year that will be very romantic, where... where um, Freedom and joy and exploration and adventure will be uh, for the past is purification. We moved, we, we've done a lot of purification and we will continue to purify the situation right now. Is joy and we move, we, we're experiencing joy and, and they will be rejoicing in the future as a result. More joy will call on for more joy. What we're going through right now, learning through is the, is the learning process. Huh? We're going through this very uh, initiation process and what will come as a result is revelation, personal revelation. All will come will be given from, from the soul for, for when we look, look at, the, at the the temporal reality from the eternal perspective all is known and understood but when we look at the temporal reality into the eternal there is a lot of lot of things that are not yet understood or known yet we have to leave the 3d matrix the temporal reality the consciousness of pisces the water of pisces to move into the air of aquarius there is this full moon in in leo in a couple of days that will be the manifestation of, of of some plenitude of energy for for the fifth dimension is unipolarity huh? it's heart based consciousness it's part of the the air the ethers and it's connecting to the eternal and limited consciousness of the source it is really what's uh, but right now we're kind of fish out of water we're still like we haven't moved into this this hairy things of the aquarians we're still like in the in the water of pisces and we're like cutting the net and the the, the net of consciousness so so it's about being patient but yet to know you are the new leaders of consciousness of a new consciousness and it's really a time for change it's about being conscious and breathing into the heart center to remember the source to re Remember, it's very familiar energy. It feels really good when we connect to that that soul energy, and learn to live at the very center, at the core, from from which all is known and all is given from the center. It is something we can rely on. Know that there is this uh, this this center from the center. All is given. There is always. Um, a true self can never be hurt by anything external because it, it, is a, it is an eternal being and that always connected to source. So it's about alchemization of the unknown into the known. There is so much revelation that will be coming. I'll pull a few more cards. The highest wisdom is sharing. It's a card of compassion, of, of teaching, of, of, of sharing. Uh, what we need to understand is change. is the card of miracle and the wheel of fortune. What we need to do is overcoming the miser. It is very much about overcoming the miser, the, 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 the limitation, the restriction, the financial, the survival. And then for that, we need to be very fine-pointed, fine-focused into the result of that which we seek, which is abundance. And for that, we need to find the inner peace, the inner calm, the inner storm. To, to the inner ocean that we will let go of the, the outer storm. And the outcome will be deep healing. So there is a healing that is coming. And so for we are, the, the keys of the Garden of Eden will be given. And so it's like we have to prepare a physical body to continue to work with the prana to alchemize the, the, the light huh? and to, to, to know we have unconscious fear as well, fears. For we have to let go of fears. But, but the fear of failure, but fear of success, fear of abundance, fear of joy, fear of happiness. For those things are not so natural within the human psyche, the human experience. But we do have to, to know that we have those fear of abundance, of happiness, of joy. So as we remove, the, we become aware of that, the, 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 those personal blockages that we have made, them, then they, they start to flow in. For we are already ready to leave the serpent behind, the, the biblical serpent, and to for, for it, it cannot fool us anymore. There is like a, it, it's just the, the the tricks of the serpent no longer works. So we we become conscious and aware, and so we have this arc of the alliance. It's like a vessel that will allow us to navigate. That is through the seven divine rays, and it is. Um, the connection of the divine light through through us through, through, of our in, uh, within our inner self and I realize there's so many blessings each and every day and and for all matters of navigation into the cosmic water you can call on uh, Poseidon or Neptune is the is the lord of, of water it is he, he knows so much and can reveal so much for in a sense we're here to serve the divine justice we're serving all except the dark masters and the agent but we're serving this divine 
We want to be fair, we want to be just, we are serving divine justice. And there are countless beings on the upper planes who are also serving this divine justice and will come to a term with this program. Yet understanding the duality program will remain active until there is, if there is only one person who believes in it, it will continue to be active. So it will take a time for, for all people to to uh, to accept freedom consciousness um, uh, it is very important to honor a preference if you like certain things and you do not like certain other things you it is part of honoring yourself to be authentic to like what you like and dislike what you dislike don't let other people always um, determine what is good for you or not you have to it's very very essential for the highest wisdom is creating the solid foundation to be to connect to our soul and spirit what we need to understand is peace to remain within our inner peace. What we need to do is trust. And the outcome is the release of all the tension and the, the conflict and the, and, and the chaos. And then so we will move on closer to the precipice. There's going to be decisions to be made, but yet remain flexible huh? <clears throat> to, to navigate those times. And let go of other opinion. It's very important uh, uh, because all that we call truth or that anyone calls truth is just an opinion, a perspective within the greater sphere of consciousness that is God and the universe. So we, we have to evaluate, to, to be fearless in some sense, to evaluate the risk, the fear of failure, yet the fear of success. Uh, but, but we, we want to... Um, we, we, we want to really uh, uh, acknowledge this fear of abundance, f uh, this fear of freedom, and this fear of joy and happiness. For once we know that, we can release it and, and allow it to come in into our, into our reality. For there is no competition or judgment uh, in relationship to anybody else or anything else. Just be at peace within the feeling of your soul and, and, and let go of the field of fear. Feeling the relaxation in each moment, it is important. For the, the, there are so many cosmic flares that are coming in the, from the sun. There is energies that are coming cosmically. It's very, very active. So, and there is this full moon in a couple of days. For the, there is a second elephant in the room. They, they're putting a second elephant in the room from on, on the other stage. We have to stay, look at that for light and to know that everything supervised and everything will go well. But they've been putting this elephant in the room with the masquerade and their their, their global plan of of, of ex genocides. That's basically what some people will have to respond to in relationship to this crisis. But they put an elephant in the room with the Ukrainian situation. Russia is not the but is not to blame for this situation. It's the second elephant in the room. Everybody should see that. For for the the, the, the NATO was was created. We should have been dissolved at the end of the Cold War. Those people are getting billions and trillions of dollars every year just to make war. So they need to orchestrate wars in order to give them a reason to exist. But we're gonna we need to move towards a world of peace. So that means. Uh, for eventually they pushed out of Russia, they pushed Russia out of the European Union, uh, but yet Russia is the biggest country in the world and it is part of, of Europe, so it needs to be reintegrated. And um, for the, the president of Russia, I think he's a very good educator, he's the one that tells the truth, and uh, for he's presented as a boogeyman in the media, but uh, but he's actually, when you listen to him, he's the one who's educating the people and he's, he's being truthful in relationship to what is going on. And at the end, we'll, we'll thank those who have been working for humanity. Right now, they're solidifying their, their, their agreement with China, for China and Russia are partners. Russia has all the resources, China has all the population, and once they make the China resolve this problem with India, they will have all the India will create all the infrastructure and that will become the center of the of the world economic for a while. But that's just a perspective. For we, we want to be unipolar in spiritual development, you here and now, but on the political level, it's about maximizing the decentralization. Each person rules itself, each community should be able to to rule in itself, and, um, and but we need to demilitarize to move into a world of peace that will take a little bit, but it's going to be accelerated by the energies that are coming. And so we continue to send love and light everywhere. It really assists in the, in the creation of that, world, that new world and, and trust that everything is supervised and there are people on, on the stage of life. Everything is... Uh, yet yet we do, we, we do want to... Uh, people need to wake up to the truth, to, to the, the false flag and the manipulations. Once, uh, as long as people believe in it, they will, be, they will be, have a sense of meaning of being there. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I want to wish you a really good day on, the Saint Va uh, on this Valentine's Day, for it is a celebration of love. And I'm going to finish with this romantic song of Elvis Presley, which was always on my mind. It was like this. 
Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I should have. Little things I should have said and done, I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Maybe I didn't hold you all this lonely, lonely times. And I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine. If I made you feel second best, I'm so sorry I was blind. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Tell me, tell me your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied, satisfied. The little things I should have said and done, I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind, you were always on my mind. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied, satisfied. You were always on my mind, you were always on my mind. I wanted to come and say hello, wish you a good day. So, so much is about to change and shift and there is all kinds of... Uh, getting ready for the new adventure, a new life, a new new journey, a new page, a new book. Um, and the card for the card, final card of the day is the four of Raphael. Look into new possibility, other possibility. Look into the magical side of life. Becoming aware of your emotion. So emotions are telling us how to align. And then we're free from emotion. We can elevate ourselves and always look at the magical side of life. Trust your inner self to make things happen, to... to so I work on consciously, no, there are conscious intelligence that work, that are always with you, that are here to assist. So learn to work with those invisible forces. And we, we, we're going to really be moving into this portal, this new portal, this paradise timeline, huh, which will be at, at this apex on the 22nd. But we already have this full moon today. And, and in a couple of days, we have this full moon that will really assist us in releasing old karma. I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Adonai.